A human engineer named Jimmy Two Fingers squinted at the pulsating mass of wires and tubes before him. It hummed with enough energy to power a small star. But right now, it was about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Damn Shearchian fusion reactor, he muttered, scratching his belly as he hammered away on the outer casing. Always acting up like a three-legged throgan in a grav storm, which was very similar to a dog back on his homeworld Earth. The Crutons looked at him in a confusing manner, as they had never seen how humans work on machinery before. He pulled out a dented flask and took a long swig, the pungent aroma of his home-brewed rocket-fuel whiskey momentarily clearing the air of ozone and fear. A couple of bulbicide Crutons technicians, assigned to assist him, whimpered and shuffled further back, their slimy skin visibly steaming. Relax, you pansies, Jimmy grumbled. This stuff would strip the chrome off a battle cruiser, not melt your delicate sensibilities. This is how we humans fix things. We talk to it in the hope that it will listen. But this one's being ignorant. He grabbed his toolbox, a battered steel behemoth covered in more dents and scratches than a meteor after a bar fight. It was his only prized possession, containing tools from every corner of the galaxy, some so exotic and rare that even the aliens weren't sure what they did. With surprising dexterity, he went to work. Wrenches flew, sparks showered, and a string of curses in languages both known and unknown filled the air. The croutons just watched in terrified awe. This human, this slovenly, foul-mouthed creature, moved with the precision of a surgeon and the confidence of a god. Hours later, drenched in sweat and grease, Jimmy slammed the lid of his toolbox shut. The reactor hummed back to life, bathing the room in a warm, comforting glow. There, he declared, wiping his hands on his already filthy pants. Good as new. Now where's the damn bar? The head Cruton technician, his voice trembling, squeaked. But, but how? We, we analyzed the problem for weeks. Our best engineers... Jimmy fixed him with a bloodshot stare. Look, I'm just here to fix stuff and get paid. Don't piss me off or I'll start kicking asses and cracking heads. Now about that bar. Oh, and by the way, it was your weak, useless materials that you folks had used to make the parts. I mean, just look at this. Jimmy holding up a faulty part in the face of the aliens. This flimsy relay switch, nothing more than a polished turd, he said, confusing the aliens even more with his earth slang. You know shit, no good crap, a pile of trash. The Crutons finally nodded in agreement as not to piss off the human anymore. The Crouton, practically tripping over himself, scurried away to find the strongest, cheapest drinks in the station. Jimmy, with a satisfied grunt, took another swig of his rocket fuel. He may have been a lazy, untimely, smelly, uncouth drunkard, but in this galaxy full of wonders and terrors, one thing was certain. Jimmy Two Fingers, was the best damn mechanic there was. The bar turned out to be a dimly lit den of questionable hygiene, frequented by beings of even more questionable morals. Jimmy, however, felt right at home. He slammed a fistful of credits on the counter, the universal language of get me drunk. The bartender, a hulking specimen with more eyes than Jimmy could count, slid over a tankard filled with something that bubbled ominously. What's this, Jimmy grumbled eyeing the concoction suspiciously. Gromlax Grog, the bartender rumbled. Strongest brew on this side of the Andromeda. Jimmy took a tentative sniff. The fumes alone singed his nose hairs. This could strip paint off a spaceship, he muttered, a hint of respect in his voice. He took a gulp. His eyes watered, his throat burned, and for a split second he swore he saw a supernova in the bottom of the mug. Not bad, not bad, he rasped, but it needs more kick. He pulled out his flask and added a generous splash of his rocket fuel. The resulting concoction smoked, hissed, and nearly melted the metal mug. Even the hardened patrons of the bar watched with morbid curiosity. Jimmy, unfazed, took a long swig, savoring the heat that spread through his body like a wildfire. Ah, that's better. Some kick to it now. Suddenly, the bar doors hissed open, revealing a squad of heavily armed mercenaries, their armor emblazoned with the sigil of the Black Nebula Syndicate. Everyone froze. The Syndicate wasn't known for their pleasantries. We're looking for Jimmy Two Fingers, their leader growled, 
a reptilian brute with a plasma cannon that looked like it could vaporize a small moon. The room went silent. Everyone stared at Jimmy, who was busy trying to light his cigarette with the steam coming off his drink. He finally managed to get a lit and took a long drag and exhaled a plume of smoke that would make a dragon jealous. Now what in the nine hells do you lot want, he drawled, his voice dangerously calm. The mercenaries exchanged nervous glances. This wasn't the reaction they expected. The boss needs something fixed, the leader said, trying to sound menacing but failing miserably. Jimmy chuckled, a sound that sent shivers down the spines of everyone present. Funny thing about me, he said, taking another swig of his drink. I only fix things when I'm good and goddamn ready. And right now, he slammed the mug on the counter. I'm feeling more like breaking things you reptilians want to go. Let's dance. The mercenaries, realizing they were out of their depth and the boss had strict orders not to harm the human, decided discretion was the better path to take. They quickly backed out of the bar, leaving Jimmy to his drink in the stunned silence of the room. He shrugged, took another drag of his cigarette, and muttered, Bunch of amateurs. All looks and no bite. I know a pro when I see one. The bar erupted in relieved chatter, everyone eager to pretend the encounter never happened. Jimmy, however, knew it wasn't over. The syndicate always got what it wanted, and this time they wanted him. He knew they would be back in a perfect time to charge more for his unique skill set. As Jimmy finished up his last drink of the night, the reptilians from the Black Nebular Syndicate were back, just as he predicted. Well, I see you are back for round two, he smirked with overconfidence. The leader of the party sneered and hissed a reluctant response. It appears our boss wants to make you another offer. Double credits with a nice little bonus if you come with us now. Jimmy turned back to the hulking specimen of a bartender. Thanks for the drink. It certainly cleared my pipes and followed the group of nervous reptilians to the awaiting spaceship.